presentations, posters, and bubbly social justice infographics canvases that you can design absolutely anything. But how easy is it to design a book cover? Hi, it's Divya G. What does the G stand for? The G stands for, are you a good for nothing, no nepo, no connection, didn't win the genetic lottery, got the short straw in life? Common when the world needed them most. They returned to give us career advice. And I just think like you, you're given one life and it's down to you what you do with it. The best advice for women in business, get your up and work. Like you can literally go in any direction. And it seems like nobody wants to work these days. You've not grown up, you know, with major money struggles. So if you just sit there and say that we will have the tw same 24 hours in a day, it's not correct. And I'm like, but technically what I'm saying is correct. We, we do. No toxic work environments and show up and do the work. If you want something enough, you can achieve it. And it just depends to what lengths you want to go to get where you want to be in the Still future. It's really hard and success is never easy. So you just, if you put in the work, you will see results. It's that simple. And I'll go to any length, like. Yes, spill the tea on poverty. There's literally nothing quite like rich people telling non-rich people that they just simply aren't working hard enough. Kardashian's right. I don't understand why people wouldn't want to work, you know, manual labor, working overtime without getting paid fairly. No rest or meal breaks with child labor practices or not even getting paid at all, but being paid in the experience of capitalism. <sighs> lazy buggers for real money. Canva really is the perfect platform to make Kim Kardashian's self-help entrepreneur unlock the secret steps business book using the manual labor of other people. So here we go. Can you design a book cover on Canva? Step one, go on Canva. Step two, type in book cover. The answer is yes. Boop. See here the book templates exist. They all look very tra trademark Canva. Yeah. It's got that stamp. Just because of this choice of like blob graphics, that's just very like, <laughs> smells like Let's put a few ground rules. Rule number one, try to use as much of Canva's integrated features as much as possible. Rule number two, no going outside. You cannot use any other platform. So that means no Photoshop. This means no Illustrator. Rule number three, no Canva Pro. We are going bare bones, no budget. I really wanted to test myself. What can we make with the resources that we have? And rule number four, only make the front cover. Why? Because this video is really not that deep. I wasn't here trying to be the best graphic designer of 2022 living in England in my small town inside my bedroom award. Although if that was an award, it would go to me. The question was really, if you make a cover on Canva, is it good enough to rival the general paperback? So here we go. I wanted to make this very Kim. I was like, okay. So the vibe that we're going for here today is author just learned how to swear self-help graphic. Also known as this. Bold, minimal, simple. Something you might notice in these really sweary covers is they like to censor it. I don't know if that's like a requirement for the publisher. This cover took me over an hour to make. It was mostly because I was doing, you know, what Kahneman says about, you know, type one and type two thinking. A lot of it was just thinking. I was literally just trying to find a font that matched. Um, I eventually settled like Kim did with her divorce. Okay. The limitations for unpaid Canva is that the letters are just as skinny as they come. There's no like Sims 4 customization here. There's no stretching. There's no narrowing. Nothing. Kim Kardashian's best advice for a woman trying to get into the business by a woman who was already born into the business. If normally there's like New York Times bestseller, right? What are Kim Kardashian's awards? And this first thing that came up, Teen Choice Award. So here we go. Teen Choice Award winner and billionaire. Yeah, whatever. But come on, she's got a Teen Choice Award. She got multiple actually. I will be eagerly awaiting her lawyer eyeshadow palette and like Skim's business plan and like Kim Kardashian untapped market right here. There is potential for you to merchandise. What do you think? Can you tell that it's from Canva? I personally think yes. Okay, next one. This one was a submission actually. Um, so this was from Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you want to influence my next video. <laughs> Anyway, now all I was given was a title, which is like kind of hard. Initially, I was gonna go for like Heartstopper vibe, teen coming of age, right? 
And what I like to do is I always like to sketch it out a little bit, right? It doesn't need to make sense as long as you can communicate kind of the vibe you're going for. So this one was like a girl lying down, she's sad, and then you've got the title. The next one were like two girls with their feet dangling, maybe they're sitting on a kitchen counter, they're living the time of their best teenage lives, and like socks, and the title. And then the last idea I had was like, maybe this girl's like upside down on a sofa, or like her feet are in the air, um, and the title. I'm not trying to vet to be like a director, producer on Nickelodeon. I don't know why there are so many fee ideas. So if your cover requires any sort of like font manipulation, any sort of photographic manipulation, any sort of like anything a little bit more wacky, good luck, Charlie. One thing that you can do on Canva is import your own images. Oh, now I don't know if this was like breaking, you know, rule number two. Well, at the same time, it's part of Canva's feature, so it's also like rule number one. And then I was like, you know what? This video isn't that deep anyway. Pexels, royalty free images, yummy yum. This cover took me around 40 minutes to make still. This turned more into general commentary fiction than coming of age teen well maybe it's like coming of age like mid 20s year old girl who is like chronically online or something so that's why i put like the pixelated thing on her face and maybe she's i don't know like f trying to foster an identity trying to figure out who is she in this space in her life who is she as a person what does she stand for what can she do in her mid-20s she's going through all this like existentialism whilst her friends are all kind of seemingly thriving and everything like i don't i don't know like maybe it's just like a story of my life or something like i i i i, I, I kind of like it i think you know what just in case to show you know if you want like a super tight tight super independent you know then it budget or whatever that you can create something like possible maybe maybe i mean with enough creativity you can kind of create something decent for yourself you know what i'm all about freeing access to education breaking down the resources now there is a debate to be made about whether platforms like canva kind of devalue the design space and i can see where the commentary is coming from because the argument is basically that when you give out this idea that yeah you can just create anything looking nice by mixing and matching a bunch of things then what do we really need designers for if you have these like pre-made templates but firstly consider the fact that someone has to make the templates in the first place all right and secondly i feel like design should be more accessible to people like there's no reason to gatekeep i think there's always going to be a space for good design made by good designers so i don't think that's necessarily going to go away right just because you have canva doesn't mean anyone can learn what good design is um, and there's kind of an art to making things a bit more organically by yourself anyway. And also, it's not like designers don't use resources anyway. Like, you use references, you use pixels, you use inspiration from other places. This just kind of makes things easier for people who don't have the budget. And also sometimes I feel like hiring a designer or whatever is not appropriate at all times. Maybe you're still in high school, you just want to make a presentation that doesn't look like, like, you know, Arial on a blank page. I think Canva can really help speed up the person. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, really. I don't know. What do you guys think about Canva? Um, if there's any genres or titles that you'd like me to create on Canva or otherwise, any trends that you've spotted recently and you're like, hey, David, this is like a good topic, you know, for the future. Let me know. Let me know. If you want to see more books, design or bookish design content, then subscribe, you know, like follow me on my social media. Oh, because I'm doing good. How is everyone today? What did you do this weekend? Anything interesting on Netflix? That's another question. All right. All right. Hug, sweaty hug. Let's go. I can't reach. You're just gonna. Okay. Yeah, bye. Boop. And number four. I'm only gonna make you king. Okay. Open the door. Open your legs. Yeah. Open the. Not your legs. Like just. Just, is that gonna be good enough to make it look like it's a legit cover that wasn't built on Canva? It's probably a catchier way of saying that. Normally there's like New York Times bestseller, right? And I don't know if there is a list for the- oh wait, isn't there like a Forbes for- oh crap.